Today I want to talk about something that I've been struggling a lot with lately, and that's how to gather the courage to go to events when you're on your own. So imagine this, you move to a new location, a new environment, a new city. You don't know anyone in this new place, and yet you have this overwhelming desire to explore and to meet new people and to go to these activities, but you're stopped by something. There's a wall in your mind that prevents you from going in the first place. And the wall or obstacle in this scenario is the fear of going alone. And that's something I've always struggled with personally in my life, no matter where I am. It doesn't have to be in Washington, DC. It could be the seven years that I spent in California or the year that I spent in Maine or just growing up overseas in Egypt and Cambodia. I've always had this problem where I try to gather the courage to go to events on my own. And when I was younger, I'm only 28, but when I was younger, I was always preventing myself from doing so because I think I had a fear of being judged by people when I was going to these events because everyone else was with their friends or with their family and I was there all alone. But if you know no one in a new place, how are you supposed to meet people in a quick manner to be able to go to events with somebody. It's not like you move to a new place and you instantly find friends. That type of stuff takes time to build as well as with a social circle. So I've always had this problem about going to events on my own. And I feel like recently I've really started to work on that problem through the founding of the Embassy Life in DC brand that I've like been building. And it's interesting because if I'm going to an embassy event and I'm alone, I don't care. But when it's a different event, like let's say a music concert and I have no one to go with me, I'll still have that obstacle in the back of my mind. And sometimes I just kind of sit back and I'm just like, that's so funny that it just happens like that. It's like, I got comfortable going to a lot of embassy and cultural events on my own because I was treating it like a job. But when it's an event, like a concert, or I don't know, it could be a film festival, whatever, it doesn't matter, and it's not embassy related, there's that wall that like is always in the back of my head, always asking, you know, the same question like, oh, what if someone judges me? Or what if, what if I get looked up or frowned upon or looked at weird because I'm all alone and like everyone else is like with someone like, look at that strange guy in that corner. He's like all alone and stuff like that. And I feel it's a problem that a lot of people face in locations today, just subconsciously or consciously. And it's something that I have to consciously like work on myself because a lot of experiences in life from what I've realized over the past like 28 years growing up, especially once you leave the family nest, you have to do things alone because there's no other choice. In my case, when I moved to new places, I had this overwhelming desire to explore, to meet people, etc. And that's always going to be there. But there was always a transition period where the back of my mind would always have that one obstacle or wall that I'm referencing and would always say like, oh, like you shouldn't go because you're like, you're alone. Like it won't be fun or someone's going to judge you at that event. It's like, why would you even try it? And so... With that said in mind, I've had to work on that myself with a lot of like self-development and just wanting to try new things. And if you're listening to this, I feel as if a lot of people struggle with that and they don't do a lot of things in their life, be it activities or starting something like a YouTube channel or whatever, because they're alone on the journey. They fear that they're going to get judged somehow, when in reality, people don't care. That, that's the thing. Like, at the end of the day, like, if you're going to an event alone, people don't care. And in fact, when you talk to people that are at these events or whatever, they're actually impressed that you go by yourself because most people wouldn't go to an event if they were alone, which is amazing to me. But it's that fear or perception that you have to get over. We have to climb that wall, you know what I mean? When you're, when you're there. And... Like I said, I've had to work on that really hard in my life. And so the takeaway of this video is if you're trying to get the courage to go to an event or try a new activity or travel to a new country like by your own, the simplest solution is just to do it. 
And it's easier said than done because you have to gather the courage to begin with. But that often starts with stepping out the front door of your house or your apartment. And that's something that I've learned myself. If I'm hesitant about going to an event because I'm scared I'm going to be alone, just go. Like the worst thing that can happen is you don't have a good time and you just take an Uber back or you just go home. You know, no one's going to judge you. And if they do, well, you're never going to see them again. You know what I mean? So that's a small piece of advice that like at least I've learned over the past couple of years, especially over the past couple of years when it comes to going to events. You know, it doesn't have to be embassy stuff, but that's my thing. You know what I mean? Here in D.C., But it's interesting because unless you actually just go and you put yourself in that new environment, you're never going to grow. And if you never if you never grow, you stay stagnant and then you stay in the house all day, all weekend, all week. And you wonder why you're sad because you're not going to new activities. You're not meeting new people and you have to if you're trying to change. So I want to tell you a quick story. It was a particularly tough weekend here in the D.C. area. And it was one of those weekends where I was just sick of the world. It was a really bad work week. The stress and anxiety had gotten to me. And I had to go to an event because I said I would go. And I I just had to get out of the house. So it was an event. I forget, like, it was probably at an embassy or a cultural center. And I really didn't want to go. But I hadn't gone to anything in, like, a week or two. You know, and it was really starting to get to me. So I dressed up. I went to the HD corridor to head to Union Station, which is where, you know, the metro is, right? And then I'm on the X2, which is like a bus system that you can take here in the D.C. area. Ask anyone that's from D.C., they will agree that the X2 is wild. You see some wild stuff at 6 a.m., like when you commute to work. And I was dressed up in a suit, and I felt so out of place with the world around me because my anxiety was kicking in to the point where I had to calm myself down because I had secluded myself for so long. It was just a strange way to be around people. You know what I mean? And it it was just, it was crazy. I just, I had such anxiety, like on the bus, I was like, oh my God, like, I can't believe I'm here. What am I doing? I should just go back home, et cetera, et cetera. But I forced myself to head to Union Station and just kind of stick on the bus and just, you know, get through it. So I went through there my, you know, self-confidence, whatever, is like kicking up and stuff like that. And then I got to the event, and then that level of anxiety just like slowly worked its way down. The more I talked to people, the more I was at the event, and the more I was just there. And it made me realize that if you want to find the courage to go to events on your own, when you don't have any friends, you just have to do it. And I know that's simple to be said, but it's harder than you might think. I mean, at least it is for me. It might be different for you. It also depends on if you're like a personality type. Like for me, I am an extroverted introvert, so I appreciate people around me, but I also need time for myself. Otherwise, I just get my social battery just like depletes really quickly. So if you're trying to build up the courage, the simplest solution is just to do it. And if you can't do that, then work your way up to it. I don't know. I mean, when I was first starting out to go to events on my own, not just in D.C., but just all over, I would do something small. Like, I would go to a coffee shop and spend time by myself and just kind of watch people. Not in a creepy way, but just watching the world around me. People watching, they call it. And that helped me overcome the anxiety issues that I had, which was to go to events like on my own, to go to new activities, to do new things on my own. And the sad reality of life is that you're going to be alone for a lot of it, unless you spend time with a significant other or family. But sooner or later, you're going to leave a home nest and you're going to go to a new city, a new country, whatever, and be by yourself for a while. So... The, the true strength is that if you're comfortable with yourself, you can go to these events and be at peace. And you won't suffer from a lot of anxiety issues, which is like what I do sometimes. Again, maybe too much coffee, but that's besides the point. Everyone has their own addiction, all right? But um, that's what I was thinking, like, recently. It was just like, I was thinking about, you know, a YouTube video idea, and then I quickly realized that in the events niche... Looking back on it, I had just such fear of being judged and just 
being alone at these new places, new activities. And then I've turned that into a strength, but you have to practice at it. It's like a skill. You know what I mean? It's like you go to an event, you get used to being by myself, you learn to talk to people as well, which is like super important. You strike up a conversation with a complete stranger and they're not overly hostile and like they're actually friendly. It's actually really gratifying when you can do that on your own instead of requiring someone there to be with you half the time. So just food for thought. And if you're struggling to find the courage to go to events, just do it alone and you'd be surprised. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos. See you around.